Hi, my name is Andrea Barba Sanchez. I was a member of the Students Leading Students chapter at Waterford Kettering High School, and I also served on the Student Advisory Board. Currently, I'm the paralegal for the Removal Defense Project at a nonprofit in New York City called Catholic Migration Services. There I assist immigrants and refugees apply for immigration benefits in the United States. I'm proud to say that I still carry the leadership skills, the team building skills, as well as the peer resistance skills that I learned while in Students Leading Students. I applied these skills during my college career as a student leader at my alma mater, Albion College, Go Brits, and I've continued to do so in my professional interactions. Students Leading Students, I would say, was different than any other club or organization in my high school. And honestly, in the community, because of our interactions that we had with our Michigan uh, community, as well as younger generations. We were a vibrant and diverse group of students. I'm still friends with many of them today, and we all came from different ways of life. Uh, we were willing to help each other out and especially help others. And this is honestly what made students leading students so distinct and unique. We would find something that we all cared for. We would focus on that one thing and we would try our best to make it better. Students Leading Students provided me with the connections and help to those in need of a new path. And having the opportunity of helping others by showing them that they could say no and assist them in understanding the dangers in our society allowed me to form deeper bonds with my peers and those who are younger than me and adults. Students Leading Students has helped me become more willing to explore, understand, and potentially accept new ideas. I would say Students Leading Students has definitely changed the way I look at the world around me. It's given me a more positive outlook on life. One of my favorite memories while in Student Leading Students was teaching basic life skills to fifth grade students as a high schooler. We would go to elementary schools and we would have a conversation of what it would look like to develop peer resistance skills to fifth graders. Now that I'm older, I truly realize the impact that this program had. Um, just for a little backstory, um, my sister and I are seven years apart. So when I was a high schooler, she was in fifth grade. And so to this day, her and her friends, of course her, um, still recall what it was like to receive these trainings. It was a big deal for high schoolers to go to an elementary school. We were seen as the cool kids just because we were older. And essentially whatever we did, they would want to follow in our footsteps. So guiding them in peer resistance skills was absolutely necessary because they would also follow suit in practicing resistance skills just like we were. I was able to do something that I love to do while participating in Students Leading Students, and that was connecting with my community and offering resources in an innovative way. Just like I'm doing now, within my role at Catholic Migration Services as a paralegal, I do a lot of listening to clients who are undergoing extreme and traumatic experiences. And you know, also moving to a new country and establishing residence is a difficult thing to do. I'm able to thoroughly explain what it means and what it looks like to come to the United States and form a deeper connection with my clients, both connecting with my community and offering local resources in an innovative way, especially during a pandemic, just like I did in Students Leading Students. Through what I have seen in Students Leading Students and the impact it has had in my life, I'm proud to be an alumni of an organization that provides so many useful skills to students and endless opportunities to grow and assist in elevating student voices.